Now, despite a flying start to the season, a run of one win in nine has seen Norwich's bid for an immediate return to the Premier League falter in recent weeks. So how would they get on against a Reading side also searching for some consistency? The Reading goalkeeper Adam Federici may be a long way from home, but he joined thousands of fellow Australians in paying tribute to the cricketer Philip Hughes. For Norwich fans, Mike Phelan was the centre of attention as he returned to Carra Road as first-team coach. And he could claim an immediate impact as Gary Hooper scored on his first league start of the season. He was originally flagged offside as he seized on Cameron Jerome's flick. But the decision by the assistant linesman was reversed and the goal stood. But within four minutes, Reading were level. 19-year-old defender Jake Cooper scored his first senior goal and only his third start. If Norwich had scored with their next chance, the pattern of the game might have been different, but Carl Lafferty's shot was helped onto the bar by Federici. Then, just before half-time, the home side were caught cold again by Reading's corner routine. Goalkeeper Ruddy couldn't reach the ball, but Cooper did, and the visitors never looked back. It almost got worse for Ruddy soon after the break, when he spilled Oliver Norwood's long shot, only to grab the ball before it could bounce into the net. Substitute Josh Murphy could have rescued a point for Norwich late on, and his miss triggered a chorus of boos at the final whistle. The Reading reaction was heartfelt in a different way. A lovely gesture from you bringing out the bat. You did yeah. that before in the warm-up and again uh, during the game, and you got a great response from the Norwich yeah, crowd. Uh, both sets of supporters, you know, I just wanted to pay my respects and... Um... You know, um, all the boys did as well, I suppose, you know, uh, Australia's on the other side of the world, but uh, I think we, are, we all feel that we're pretty close, um, England and Australia. So, as I said, I just wanted to pay my respects. It's his birthday today, so, um, yeah, uh, very sad news, and as I said, we just wanted to do something for him.